اوكي نكمل عشان الفيديو ما يطلع كتير طويل شفنا انه في عندنا الاكسبلوريشن تيرم وعندنا الاكسبلويتيشن تيرم ولازم نختار الاكسبلوريشن ما يكون كتير عالي عشان ما نضيع ما نضيع الجلوبال اوبتيما وما يكون كتير واطي بحيث انه نضيع الجلوبال اوبتيما انه ما نلاقي نعلق على المينيموم لوكال اوبتيما و rewards can be delayed from actions يعني هاي مشكلة إنه reward it's in the short term زي ما حكيت بالفيديو اللي قبل <coughs> so this is the challenges of reinforcement learning أوكي هدول أول اثنين صراحة ما فهمتهم كتير so منشوف لو فهمناهم لقدام So هون شفنا ال components. هون what is the reinforcement learning and why do we need it? So the reason is because we have a state and action. مش زي ال feature. وال الأول كان عنا feature input or output label. طيب هلا عنا state action pairs has q values. فعنا ال q values inside the q table. ااا وعنا q learning. طيب هذه ال Q learning إنه عنا state وعنا action one two يعني couple of actions and the output Q value for action one and output two Q value for action two فاحنا هيك بنختار which is the best action and deep Q learning is a Q table slash function approximation هي بتكون زي ال neural network فبيكون فيها weights أكيد يعني و scalability so I guess because reinforcement learning is always learning يعني هلا ال previous models إحنا we train it once with with a data set بعدين خلص يعني it it خلص it learns how the weights وخلص the the model is fixed صح بس ال reinforcement learning it keeps learning with change of behavior يعني if today state one gives me a good outcome tomorrow maybe I gradually change my behavior and and also the model will gradually change فا we have scalability يعني I think يعني this is my opinion of what I see in the slides <تصفيق> Q-Learning Algorithm خلنا نشوف في الالغوريثم عنا الـ Step Size uh, Epsilon uh, Okay, Small Epsilon Initialize Q uh, with a state and action function for all states element inside the big state set and actions from the action set arbitrarily Except that Q terminal equals zero. Loop for each episode, so we initialize the state. We loop for each step episode. Choose A from S. Using policy derived from Q. Take action A. Observe R, the reward based on the state. Then the function of the state and action will be updated by this value until S is terminal. طيب. Oh, okay. هلا بدنا ندرس ال exploration and exploitation. So we use the knowledge already learned on what is the next best action in the current state. So exploitation is like, يعني إذا أنا تعلمت إنه ال ال previous points are increasing, فأنا I learn إنه إنه في optimum هون مكان هون لإنه إحنا we're increasing صح؟ فا I follow this this path. Exploration is to explore a number of states. Select an action different 
uh, of the one that is currently uh, think is best يعني هلا if انا if انا شفت ال 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 previous actions زي هيك عم تطلع لفوق فانا بعرف انه ال best best way to look for the global maxima is to look here صح is to look here is to look here يعني I know this area اكيد في optima صح بس exploration بيخليني اطلع اماكن تانية مثلا اطلع هون اطلع هون اطلع هون يعني لما اطلع اماكن مثلا يمكن هون ممكن الاقي سوري ممكن الاقي انه هون في هذه المنطقه مثلا عندي لسه uh, يعني its exploration its understanding uh, what what is in other areas okay um, فهاي الفكره بعدين هلا عندنا هون A simple bandit algorithm initialize for a equals 1 to k. So we have the q function of a. They're initialized to 0 and the n. So loop forever. So such that argument um, max action with probability 1 minus epsilon breaking ties randomly. A random action with probability epsilon. يعني the action is either either random or it follows this function. Okay, it's random for a small percentage of time. لانه احنا we don't want it to be too random. احنا we want it to follow the global maxima. But there has to be some exploration to avoid. الجلوبال الجلوكال اماكسيما طيب so هاي is just math I don't, I don't understand it introduction to deep reinforcement learning so we have Q learning use a function approximator to estimate the action value function function parameters uh, weights so this is the weights okay if the function approximator is deep neural network then we use deep Q learning deep reinforcement learning uh, embraces the advantage of deep neural networks to train the learning process thereby improving the learning speed and the performance of reinforcement learning algorithms. So, احنا رح نسوي accept للinformation زي ما هي. <coughs> Introduction to deep reinforcement learning. Again, this is the same slide. This is the same so remember what to find uh, want to find a q function that satisfies the bellman equation iteratively try to make the q value close to the target value y it should have a value it should have if q function corresponds to optimal q an optimal policy n high y i oh, okay high function of y i <coughs> so we iterate until this equals to this i guess so this is the loss function diamond and the loss function we and the y we have a backward pass i i guess hadi ma'naha zay uh, backward loop يعني زي feedback I guess gradient update with respect to Q function okay خلنا نشوف الموديل الموديل يمكن مفهوم أكتر so the deep lear, uh, deep uh, re reinforcement learning enabled secure visible light communication against eavesdropping so, عنا content converter 
نحولها ل light بعدين we encoder and modulator so we have the beam former and we have L1, L2, L3 so this is Alice and this is Bob it's sending يعني to Bob and this is Eve so it's sending to Bob and this is HB for Bob and Bob is receiving demodulating and it has the data output Hona, he's also, Eve is also demodulating and having the output uh, PD in decoder goes to the Eve mm, amplification and processing receive transmit beam forming over multiple input single output VLC wire trap channel wire tap channel So, هنا عنا Bob وهنا عنا Eve Secrecy rate and zero forcing For the multiple input single output VLC wire tap a Channel subject to the average power const constraint the absolute of x is less than or equal to alpha i1 and the achievable secrecy rate of the beam forming system denoted by cs can be obtained as so the secrecy capacity equals half log all of this hacker and the ish high high weight mm. so I guess this one it follows the same equation from slides number uh, slides number nine The problem in four has has been shown to be non convex and NP hard. However, there is a chance to derive a suboptimal solution. When Eve's geometric location is known to the transmitter, and in this, in this scenario, we assume that the in high location is known, and thus the CSI at the transmitter can be obtained. Then, zero forcing beam forming can be exploited to obtain a suboptimal secrecy rate by imposing zero beaming against beam forming uh, gain to eve while maximizing the beam forming gain to bob hence the zero forcing beam former omega zero is obtained by okay so Hello, I think Hadi it follows the same concept we slide that uh, number nine. Um, when we have um, when when Methan and Bob knows where Eve is, and he also knows that Alice is Methan and Horn, he can he can Methan uh, make his beam uh, come to Alice and go to zero in the direction of Eve. Because we assume that he knows where Eve is. So in this case, we can exploit this information and uh, use this for beam forming. W is the weight, as we have seen in the slides number nine.
طيب هلا عنا ديب ديب رينفورسمنت ليرنينج انيبلد سكيور فيزيبل لايت كوميونيكيشن اجينست ايفز دروبينج هلا عنا ليجيتيمت ريسيفر بوب اند انوثرايزد ايفز دروبر ايف بوب كنترول ريزلتس ويت احنا من وين نبدا وين البدايه Measure the current uh, BER bit error rate. Estimate the secrecy rate, CS. Then evaluate the utility, U. Then update the Q function. Then we will choose the beam forming policy, omega, uh, W, via epsilon greedy algorithm. And apply the beam forming policy. Then, Eve will تأخذ ال communication feedback. It will measure the previous bit error rate. It will estimate the previous secret secrecy rate, and it will obtain the current channel gain from Alice to Bob, and formulate the state. Then it will update the Q function. Reinforcement learning based secure multiple input uh, single output VLC beam forming control scheme against eavesdropping. Just I I um, this is a little bit confusing, but still, if I'm to know, I they're trying to use reinforcement learning to learn what is the best value for omega or w for the beam forming according to where eve is yani okay um oh wow there's there's more to the system Wow, okay. So let's see. Um, or we can just skip this. We can just skip this and we just we can look at this slide. And we can also cheat and see how many slides we have left. Perfect, just three. And we can just read them. So here uh, we have the environment and here we have the results of the secrecy rate. So the secrecy rate is higher or highest here, but lowest for Eve at the same point Eve is and also it's low at the sides a little bit not too much but any so i guess the reason it, it's like that is because here we have a um, led led light and then here we don't here we have a led light and then here we don't but there are spaces between the led lights so this is why it looks like a, like that. Then we have deep reinforcement learning enabled secure visible light communication against eavesdropping. And what's the difference between this and that? So here the secrecy rate with Bob's location variant and Eve's location fixed. Here we have the secrecy rate with the Eve's location variant and Bob's location fixed. So Eve is moving. So the secrecy rate is high in all the areas except for this part. Except for 
any let's say 2.2 and 4.2 and 0.81 so almost almost and bob which i don't understand why yani maybe we should read the paper and then look again into the slides so let's see Maybe this is more easy to read. We have um, this line. Wait, I'm sure. And we have two lines the same color. So the black and the other black. Okay, wait a second. We have the black color and then we have the blue. So the black color is the FFJ. And then we have the red color is the deep reinforcement learning visible what's vb um so hana we have the zero forcing method and we compare it to the deep reinforcement learning So I guess it's just a comparison between the different methods. 